Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk HP Lovecraft. Before we get started, just want to ask you to, once again, please subscribe to our channel and help us continue to grow. Doing another short story review from HP Lovecraft for you today. Uh, please excuse any rumbling you may hear in the background. We just had a blizzard go through last night and it's still sort of rolling through the area. But everybody's getting out and they're running their snow blowers right now, so there may be a little bit of humming in the background, which I hope does not disturb the video too much. Uh, today's story is Facts Concerning the Late Arthur German and His Family, published in The Wolverine in 1921 as The White Ape. The story went through a number of titles, uh, mainly chosen by the publishers, changed from what Lovecraft desired before eventually settling on his full desired title, which is The Facts Concerning the Late Arthur German and His Family. It's a long one. <laughs> uh, this story tells the family history of Arthur German, a British nobleman uh, who has picked up his great-great-great-grandfather's study of the Congo jungle. Uh, the great-great-great-grandfather, Sir Wade German, marries a reclusive wife uh, while on his travels in, uh, the, the, in the Congo jungle, and uh, she's supposedly Portuguese, but after, uh, afterwards, as they have children, uh, everybody looks a little bit different than they should for being uh, sort of your uh, standard British nobility. Uh, Sir Wade's studies are allegedly interested in a civilization of white apes living deep in the Congo jungle. And uh, this, uh, this view of the world um, back in the 1700s, I believe it was, would have gotten you pretty much ostracized and ridiculed by your peers. Uh, so needless to say, this is no longer a very popular and reputable family. Uh, Sir Wade's son, Philip, is a neighbor, naval sailor uh, who at one point disappears into the Congo. Uh, but he did have a son, uh, Robert, who also picks up Sir Wade's study of the Congo and learns uh, stories of a supposed gray city of white apes ruled by a white god in the jungle. Uh, Robert, after uh, learning this information um, and some other things that aren't revealed to the reader, uh, he goes crazy, kills almost his entire family, except for his brother Neville uh, has a son who survives. Uh, that son is the name, uh, goes by the name of Alfred. Alfred, uh, Alfred works in a circus and he becomes fascinated with a gorilla um, that is part of the show. This gorilla uh, has lighter complected uh, fur than most gorillas. Uh, and one time during their training, uh, the gorilla goes mad and kills him, but not before uh, Alfred himself uh, sort of <laughs> expresses this strange um, violent outburst where he's uh, pretty much wrestling with the gorilla and biting at him like an animal. Um, Alfred had a son who also survives and picks up this, his great-great-grandfather's uh, study of the Congo. Uh, it is Arthur who um, obtains a coffin containing a mummy or a stuffed creature that is said to be the white goddess of this strange civilization his great-grandfather uh, believed in in the Congolese jungle. Uh, inside the, con the coffin he finds what appears to be a white furred human ape hybrid. Only the uh, the ape is wearing a golden locket and on that golden locket is the German family crest. Ta-da! <laughs> Uh, so the, the implication here is that the white goddess was the original supposedly uh, reclusive wife that was supposed to be Portuguese of Sir Wade. And since then, all of the Wade family has been sort of human uh, proto-ape uh, hybrids um, bringing these two species together. Uh, Arthur, um, when learning this, uh, he loses his mind, he douses himself in kerosene, uh, walks out into the high moors, and lights himself on fire. <laughs> the end. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's an interesting story, um, a lot of fun. Uh, the white ape 
uh, intelligence uh, civilization thing reminds me very much of Michael Crichton's Congo, which I read as a teenager, I guess. And then there's a movie which is sort of underrated, but not that great. Uh, story uh, is highly focused on Lovecraft's favorite theme, which is of genetic and cultural degradation. Uh, the German family, they all look pretty grotesque, sort of part ape. Nobody can quite place where this is coming from. Um, there was the, the lie of the Portuguese descent, but uh, obviously we learned the truth before the end. Uh, most critics, I presume, will think of this as being just another example of Lovecraft being xenophobic. And, you know, you can make that interpretation, but I think that's the easier interpretation. Uh, the story itself is not about that. Even if Lovecraft had those kind of views in his real life, you can't necessarily automatically uh, transfer that onto the story. You have to use what the story gives you as opposed to um, interjecting reality. Uh, that being the case, I think a better interpretation is that... Um, the lesson here is that humans and uh, our ancestors are not so far removed as we think, and it doesn't really take much for a uh, for a person to actually um, revert to our animalistic side. We see that every day um, in the world around us. You know, people committing violence and atrocities, things that just they don't seem. Um, possible or conceivable to many of us but it's like you know where does that where does that propensity for violence and animalistic behavior come from and it's it's still in us you know it's still in you know 99.9 .9 of our genetic code uh story itself um a little bit predictable you know i saw the um the ape hybrid thing coming a mile away but even so it is written in such a way that it's it remains uh enjoyable, it remains entertaining, and uh, it was worth the half hour or so that it took to read it. So if you do get the chance to read the facts concerning the late Arthur German and his family, uh, go ahead and do it because it's um, it's not a bad way to spend a half hour of your life. Uh, if you like this video, um, be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, see what we come up with next because we are releasing a lot of stuff recently. Um, look for around 7 to 14 videos a week. And um, some of them are Lovecraft, and a lot of them are um, very, very different. So um, you never know what you're going to find here. So uh, be sure to tune in daily and find out. Until next time, see ya.